In this video, I'm going to show you three ways of using my newest stamp. First, the one on an art, art journal page. Uh, I started using my one of my stencils, which you can buy on uh, my Etsy uh, shop. I'm using a blending tool and some Distress Ink uh, pads. First I used the orange one and then I turn the page and I use a more pinkish or actually it look low, looks more like red but who cares red and orange pink and orange both works then I take my strange and uh, un unperfect corner stamp, stamping with uh, Stason. This was carved from uh, just leftovers. But I decided to try to use it as a frame, knowing that I can't make it all square. But that's no problem because I have a black pen. Let's do some doodles. I prefer to use the micro pens because they work on most most uh, surfaces surfaces. Overflater in Norwegian. I love to doodle. That's one of my favorite favorite part when I'm making um, art journal pages. And in just some seconds, I have a finished frame out of the funky, crazy, unperfect uh, corner stamp. And this uh, tiny text stamp is almost like my signature. I'm using it all the time. And I'm doodling some fr uh, frame just to soften up the black uh, straight lines from the stamp. I decided to get some dots too. I have a dotty stamp with tiny, tiny dots. That works with everything. And so does a flower, flower vase with flower hearts. I guess that's my kind of my signature too, these three hearts. The horse needed some color to pop, so I use my water brush pens, uh, pen with the distress ink and just uh, using inks from the um, ink pad to color in some some shadows and some some um, color to the vase. Okay, next project that's the card. I carved a uh, present, a birthday present gift. But first using the stencil, because I decided to use all the, the same colors and the same uh, uh, equipments or stuff to, uh, to create all the three pro projects, both the art journal, the card and the tag.
that's a good way of working because you don't have to take too much uh, uh, choices. You know what kind of uh, colors you're going to use. You know what kind of stuff you will use. Then it's just to create. Time to stamp the present, the gift, birthday gift. Okay. Always kind of scary to stamp right on to the paper. But I love scary. Okay, it seems like the the, the birthday gift is flying, so I need to give it some kind of um, how do how do I say it? Grounding. Adding some of the tiny text stamps. Some dots uh, it's about to land the flying package is about to land but I still need something more so I use my Durban pencil to add some shadow together with the water pencil That helped a bit. I could draw a, a table or something too, but I think this is enough. I decided to stamp the text. Happy birthday with uh, letter stamps. And do a frame, just as I did around the uh, on the art journal page too as i said i'm using most of the the same uh, techniques and and uh, stuff but still the project is kind of different oi 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 it's going too fast okay we're on the on the um, the tag I had some uh, uh, collage uh, fodder, but first I use I'm using the stamp to make a border on the tag. This gallop kind of uh, uh, stamp along the edge of the tag. First, some red ones. And then some orange. Oops, oops, oops. It's not too sticky anymore, the... Oh, okay, let's do some orange. Not too bad. Ready for the stencil and the blending tool. Using some pink. <laughs> bad filming, you just see my hand. Sorry about uh, sorry about that. But you know what I do. Mm -hmm. Text stamping. With color. And then afterward. With some black too. 
because I needed some contrast. And I'm going to staple some of my uh, collage for uh, fodder onto the tag outside of the picture. Sorry. Now I just need a text, and it's fi all finished. Thank you very much for watching my video. Bye bye.